Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. And in this video, we will be talking about Tropical Depression 13, which is expected to intensify into Tropical Storm Julia and then eventually a hurricane. And so there are watches and warnings that are in place. And so I will be breaking down all that is happening with the system and all that is expected in this video. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never Never miss an important update video on the tropics and to show your support for the channel you can leave a like on this video all right and so let us go ahead and get on with it and we are looking at current satellite imagery of the caribbean and so we're seeing that there we have our depression not looking very organized but there is a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity taking place within the vicinity of the system and it is accelerating towards the west right now and uh going to the cone forecast from the national hurricane center here we're seeing that maximum sustained winds are at 35 miles per hour and the system is moving to the west at 50 15 miles per hour and so what we're seeing in blue and pink are a tropical storm warning and a hurricane watch respectively and so let's get on with those areas that are under watches and so hurricane watch again that is in pink that is in effect for san andres providencia and santa catalina islands colombia and there is a tropical storm warning that is in effect for the coast of colombia from riacha eastward to the colombia venezuela border so uh, as for the hurricane watch that means that hurricane conditions are possible uh, within around 48 hours or so and then for tropical storm warning tropical storm conditions are taking place across these areas right now because of course the system is in the vicinity of these regions and there is a lot of activity there and so guys as time goes by the system is expected to look a lot better i think that the main reason we haven't seen a whole lot of intensification up to this point is because of its proximity to land and so because it's just so close to land it does not have enough time to really be over those warm ocean waters and just get itself together so uh, that's the main reason we haven't been seeing a whole lot of organization and intensification of the system but of course that is going to be ending very soon as the system is expected to make its way into the south caribbean where warm waters are and so as i speak about that let's go ahead and take a look at current conditions and so here we're taking a look at the sea surface temperature map and we're seeing seeing that uh, there are very favorable uh, temperatures across the South Caribbean. We see 30 degrees Celsius, 29, and tropical cyclones just need at least 26, 26 and a half. So this is really going to be helping to fuel the system as it makes its way across the area. And so it is likely to become a hurricane just before making its way into Nicaragua. And so uh, back to the cone forecast here, uh, it is likely that the system will intensify into a hurricane maybe very early on Sunday while crossing those islands and then headed towards Nicaragua and so it could make landfall maybe sometime later on that day uh, and then make its way into Honduras as a tropical depression because once it makes landfall it doesn't matter how strong it is once it makes landfall it is going to rapidly weaken over land and so that is what is expected for the most part so uh, other areas as I said, Honduras, maybe El Salvador as well, Guatemala, even going into portions of Mexico could be impacted by the system. And regardless of it being a very strong cyclone or not, it is likely to remain as a rainfall threat. And I mean, the water is the problem with any landfall and tropical cyclone. It's always with the storm surge as well as that uh, the inland flooding as a result of all of the rainfall that takes place there. So guys, please do not take any unnecessary risks and take the necessary precautions and stay safe because this is actually a dangerous cyclone. And so going on to what is expected from the models in terms of the track and intensity. So we're looking at the model track guidance here and we're seeing that we have majority of these models expecting that the system might make its way up to the Gulf of Mexico in to the Bay of Campeche and so uh, that would in that case with favorable conditions there then we could see a bit of re-intensification with the system with that happening and I mean that would be uh, quite interesting to actually see play out because I mean uh, if this makes its way into the Gulf and it lingers around for quite some time and the conditions are quite conducive then we could certainly see uh, more intensification and eventually this is obviously going to be affected somewhere else but of course this is for the long term which is not guaranteed so we just 
have to keep watching the system and as time goes by we'll see the more likely outcome of it and then going on to the model intensity guidance here we have a lot of models available majority of which are expecting that this will become a hurricane uh, maybe peaking as a category one and uh, rapidly weakening of course it's going to be heading inland and that is going to be resulting in very rapid weakening but again that rainfall threat is going to be one of the main concerns with the system and even as I speak about that uh, the system was not even a tropical cyclone as yet when it affected Trinidad and brought massive flood into the country so I saw the videos I heard that a person uh, died which is very unfortunate there so guys uh, we don't need a very strong system to cause massive flooding it's just uh, these extensive periods of very heavy rainfall that result in that inundation of low-lying areas and so if you're in the path of the system if you're in Central America it's best to keep an eye out I have a lot of persons that watch my videos from my country Jamaica and so persons are wondering if we will feel impacts from this and so uh, maybe some of that activity from the outer periphery of the system could make its way into the country and bring along with it some increased precipitation but of course tropical storm force winds hurricane force winds are not expected because the system is going to be too far south for us to really feel those impacts but uh, outer bands from the system could really result in some increased rainfall and again extensive periods of very heavy rainfall can result in flash flooding across flood prone areas so please be aware of that happening as you're going to be heading into the end of this week. But major impacts are definitely not expected across the island as of right now. And so guys, thus far this hurricane season, this is the activity that's taken place. So we've had 13 tropical depressions, 9 tropical storms, 4 hurricanes, and 2 major hurricanes. And of course, our major hurricanes were Ian and Fiona. And because of the activity that has taken place thus far, many persons think that the season was quite overestimated because, I mean, most... Most of these sources were calling for at least more than 15, 16 named storms, many calling for 18, 20, 21, and so far we've only had nine named storms. And I mean, we're in the month of October and we typically see a decrease in activity, but that doesn't mean that uh, we won't see anything or anything major in the month. But uh, the statistical peak is, of course, September 10th, and that is long gone. But there is still that chance for more activity, uh, more tropical cycles before the official end of this hurricane season but it really doesn't take a whole lot of of activity for us to see some major damage Ian was enough I mean Ian is the talk of this hurricane season and as I mentioned earlier before the uh, before we even reached the hurricane season peak it only takes one tropical cyclone to cause massive destruction and so unfortunately that was Ian for portions of the Caribbean and also the US and so guys of course I'm going to be keeping you updated on what is happening with tropical depression 13 as it makes its way across the South Caribbean and of course if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments or share your thoughts there and just remember to always be weather wise